Hi, it's Chris with Bernice of the Rockies, and in this video, I'm going to show you what tools I use when my dogs start shitting. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching the Bernese of the Rockies YouTube channel, the place to be if you love all things Bernese Mountain Dogs. It's Burner Tuesday. So on today's show, I would like to talk about what tools I use and what I kind of do when my dogs start shedding. Now here in Colorado, my dogs usually shed twice a year, pretty good. And that's usually when the temperatures are changing. So sometimes in the springtime and sometimes in the winter time. And of course, it can change different things too. If you have a puppy, a Bernese puppy, um, if you notice as they get older, they have this kind of brown kind of hair that doesn't match their black fur. Um, and so sometimes that's obviously their puppy hair, they're gonna lose their puppy hair. Um, and so what I like to try to do is just brush them out, you know? So if I know they're gonna start shedding, um, instead of shedding all of your house and getting all of your clothes and everywhere else, um, if you can just kind of battle that before it happens, uh, it's the best thing that I, that I do. So, so I'm, no, I'm not a professional groomer by any means, and so if you are a professional groomer, please leave your comments below. I would love to know the tools that you use, um, and of course we can do a whole video on grooming and, and bathing, things like this. And so if you have some tips um, on what products we should be using on our Bernese Mountain Dogs, I would love to hear from you. So put those comments below of what you use uh, when you bathe your dog. So the typical tools I use is uh, this kind of uh, more spaced out brush. Um, so when I'm, I'm kind of brushing the dogs, getting all the extra hair out, cause it'll come out in this big old, you know, big old mats of hair. Um, and then I, at my local dog um, wash, uh, where we take our dogs, they, they sell this cool little like rake tool that really just kind of gets down and, and you know, really cleans everything up. Um, looks on the side, looks like it's, uh, I don't know, you might be able to read that, probably not. <laughs> but my go-to brush, um, is the Ferminator and you know kind of you can release the hair it's pretty cool you can find us on Amazon eBay probably any of your big box stores um, and just so you know this video is not sponsored so this isn't something where I'm like hey the Ferminator by uh, whoever uh, this is just me saying the tools I use so um, if Ferminator is watching this hey you can send me some free samples I love to give them away to my audience so these are the tools that I use for my dog so we're going to go outside right now and i'm going to show you just briefly kind of how i brush my dogs um you know i'm gonna brush aspen and uh kind of show you what i do usually they just kind of sit and they get used to it so they just kind of brush them and get all their extra hair out so let's go outside okay so if you notice you know i try to get you know whichever dog i'm, I'm brushing i just try to get them where they're comfortable sometimes they're sitting down uh, most of the hair that you'll see that comes off them is going to be on their rear end usually that i see because a lot of their upper hair um, either stays nice and smooth or falls out naturally. Um, it's kind of that rear end hair um, that really just kind of gets, uh, you know, kind of a, a pain, you know, and <laughs> pretty much pain in the butt. Uh, it just makes it a little bit uh, hard to, um, you know, for them to naturally lose that. So uh, what I like to really do is kind of focus on the rear end of them. Um, if everything else looks good, just trying to get those extra mats out. Of course, you know, you can, you know, brush their, you know, the front of their body and underneath and everything, their legs, you know, you're making them look nice, but just for that initial brushing um, before, you know, you, you give a nice bath or something like this, if you can get any extra hair out, this is going to help a lot um, just for when you're bathing them that the, you know, the shampoo and the conditioner hits their, you know, the body the, the best they can without too much hair blocking it. Now, what I like to do too, depending on how big a dog you have. Now, if you're you know, if you have a chihuahua or something, this, this may not work for you, but what I like to try to do is if I have a large breed dog, um, and you may have like a golden retriever lab or German shepherd or another breed as well, um, that's tall. But what I try to do is if they're kind of stubborn sometimes, cause they don't want to, you know, get their hair pulled on too much. And I try to be as gentle as possible, um, is I'll take my knee and I'll slide it right underneath them. So that way they kind of can't sit down. And that's just kind of my tip that I use and like to tell people that uh, when they're brushing, you know, their, their hindquarters. And this is, especially with a long haired dog, this is very important because, uh, you know, when they use the bathroom, uh, you know, when they go number two, you don't want them getting all, you know, grungy and, and gross back there. Um, and so, you know, if you can kind of do whatever you have to do to kind of keep them up so you can keep them nice and trim. Now, of course, you may go to a professional groomer yourself um, and, and so that's obviously a great option and, and I'm all for that. You know, if you can take your dog to a groomer to have them uh, take care of them, uh, that's also, uh, you know, that's a big plus. So um, really, it, you know, and how long it should take should be up to you. I mean, you may find that, you know, you can brush your dog in five minutes if you keep them, you know, 
you know, brushed and stuff all the time, it's going to be a lot faster. If you do it, say, like every six months or whenever they need it, it may take a little longer. Of course, if your dog's rolling around in the mud and dirt, that takes a little longer. Um, but, if you're, of course, if your dog's an inside dog, you know, like Aspen here, she's super, uh, she looks good, looks nice, and, uh, you know, it's just a little bit of hair for when uh, the seasons change. So there you go. So, again, you know, I just kind of use uh, this brush to kind of, you know, get a lot of the bigger hair out. Um, and then, you know, the rake really helps to kind of go against the grain and kind of get, you know, that, the tufts of hair out. Um, and then the Furminator is great. You know I me, mean? I really love the Furminator because you can get that undercoat. Um, you can get all that hair out. That's really going to help when you go to bathe your dog. Um, that, you know, you, it's kind of like a barrier, kind of like a defensive shield, you know, the, the shield of hair that's not going to let you get to their skin. Um, so that's really going to help to get underneath. So, and again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. These are just me. And I just noticed they're all yellow too. It's kind of cool. Uh, but anyways, I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just strictly me just saying the tools that I use. So again, if you love this video, I appreciate you thumbs up or leaving a comment below. Really, if you brush your own dogs, uh, let me know what products you use. You know, give me a link to wherever, whatever you use. And also, if you use a certain kind of shampoo or conditioner, um, if you, there's a certain kind of... Uh, you know, dog place or dog groomer you use, I'd love to know who you use. You know, I mean, I uh, uh, always, I'm, I'm learning, I'm a student myself and also a teacher. So if I can uh, learn something, that's great. So again, if you love this video, please subscribe um, and, uh, you know, make sure on Fridays, if you have a question for me from this video, um, shoot me an email at questions at bernizatherockies.com. Um, and, you know, we'll put it in a, uh, a burner fan Friday, BFF. BFF Fridays, uh, where we just kind of, you know, more laid back and we just talk about fun stuff with the breed. So until then, hug your dog and be blessed.